Hello, this is for day 302 of Bible in one year and our Bible text, Jeremiah chapters 18 to 19, and then 2 Timothy chapter 3. So let's begin with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for another day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings, the guidance, the wisdom, and for the gift of salvation. Pray, Lord, that you enlighten us as we read your word. Help us to understand the messages and to apply them in our daily lives. Also, we'd like to ask for your forgiveness for our sins and mistakes. The shortcomings help us, Lord, to overcome our weaknesses. Help us to be more obedient to your word and to be more faithful, Lord. Also, I'd like to pray for everyone who are doing their part in the ministry. Um, pray, Lord, that you would save our lost loved ones and everyone who's trying to reach to the various uh, ministries. And pray, Lord, that you would strengthen everyone, uh, provide for their needs, give them wisdom, and Guide our activities every day, Lord. Thank you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we begin with Jeremiah chapter 18. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise, and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter, so he made it again another vessel, that seemed good to the potter to make it. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? saith the Lord. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand, O house of Israel. At what intent I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, so pluck up, and to pull down, and to destroy it? If that nation against whom I have pronounced turn from their evil, I will repent of the evil that I taught to give unto them. And at what intent I shall speak concerning a nation, and concerning a kingdom, to build and to plant it? If it do evil in my sight, that it, that it obey not my voice, then I will repent of the good, wherewith I said I would benefit, benefit them. Now therefore go to speak to the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you, and devise a device against you. Return ye now every one from his evil way, and make your ways and your doings good. And they said, There is no hope, but we will walk after our own devices, and we will, do, we will every one do the imagination of his evil heart. Therefore thus saith the Lord, As ye now among the heathen, who had heard such things, the virgin of Israel had done a very horrible thing. Will a man leave the snow of Lebanon, which cometh from the rock of the field? Or shall the cold flowing waters that come from another place be forsaken? Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to vanity, and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from ancient from the ancient paths, to walk in paths in a way not cast up, to make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing, every one that passeth thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Then said they, Come, and let us devise devices against the priest. Sorry. Let us devise devices against Jeremiah, for the law shall not perish from the priest, nor counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet. Come, and let us might him with a song, and let us not give heed to any of his words. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. Shall evil be recompensed for good, for they have digged a pit for my soul? Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them, and to turn away thy wrath from them. Therefore deliver up their children to the famine, and pour out their blood by the force of the sword. And let their wives be bereaved of their children, and be widows. And let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses, when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. For they have digged a pit to take me, and hid snares from my feet. Yet, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity. 
neither blot out their sin from thy sight, but let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thine anger. Jeremiah chapter 19 Thus saith the Lord, Go and get a potter's earthen bottle, and take of the ancients of the people, and of the ancients of the priests, and go forth unto the valley of the son of Hinnom, which is by the entry of the east gate, and proclaim there the words that I shall tell thee, and say, Hear ye the word of the Lord, O kings of Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place, the which whosoever heareth his ears shall tingle, because they have forsaken me, and have estranged this place, and have burned incense in it unto other gods, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Judah, and have filled this place with the blood of the innocent. They have built also the high places of Baal, to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal, which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came it into my mind. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that this, that this place shall no more be called stop it, nor thy valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of Slatter. And I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies, and by the hands of them that seek their lives, and their carcasses will I give to be meat for the falls of, he of the heaven, and for the beasts of the earth. And I will make this city desolate, and unhissing, every one that passeth thereby shall be astonished and hissed, because of all the plagues thereof. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters, and they shall eat every one of the flesh of his friend. In the siege and straightness, where we their enemies, and they that seek their lives shall straighten them. Then shalt thou break the bottle in the sight of the men that go with me, and shall say unto them, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Even so will I break his people in this city, as one breaketh a potter's vessel that cannot be made whole again. And they shall bury them in the in top it, and there be no place, till there be no place to bury. Thus will I do unto this place, saith the Lord, and to the inhabitants thereof, and even make this city a soffit. And the houses of Jerusalem and the houses of the kings of Judah shall be defiled as the place of Topet, because of all the houses upon whose roofs they have burned incense unto all the hosts of heaven, and have poured out drink offerings unto other gods. Then came Jeremiah from Topet, whither the Lord had sent him to prophesy, and he stood in the court of the Lord's house, and said to all the people, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring upon the city and upon all her towns all the evil that I have pronounced against it, because they have hardened their necks, that they might not hear my word. Jeremiah chapter 20 Now Pashur the son of Imet, Immer, the priest, who was also chief governor in the house of the Lord, heard that Jeremiah prophesied these things. Then Pashur smote Jeremiah the prophet and put him in the stocks that were in the high gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of the Lord. And it came to pass in the morrow that Pashur brought forth Jeremiah out of the stocks. Then said unto Jeremiah unto him, The Lord had not called thy name Pashur, but Magur Misavid. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will make thee a terror to thyself and to all thy friends, and they shall fall by the sword of their enemies, and thine eye shall behold it. And I will give all Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon, and ye shall carry them captive into Babylon, and shall slay them with a sword. Moreover, I will deliver all the strength of the city, and all the labors thereof, and all the precious things thereof, and all the treasures of the kings of Judah, will I give into the hand of their enemies. We shall spoil them, and take them, and carry them to Babylon. And thou, Bashur, and all that dwell in thine house shall go into captivity, and thou shalt come to Babylon, and there thou shalt die, and shall be buried there, thou and all thy friends, to whom thou hast prophesied life. O Lord, thou hast deceived me, and I was deceived. Thou art stronger than I, and hast prevailed. I am in derision daily, every one mocketh me. For since I spake, I cried out, I cried violence and spoil, because the word of the Lord has made a reproach unto me, and a derision daily. Then I said, I will not make mention of him, nor speak any more in his name, 
but his, wor his word was in my heart as a burning fire shut up in my bones. And I was weary with barbarian, and I could not stay. For I heard a defaming of many. Fear in every side, report, say it, say they, and we will report it. All my familiars watched for my halting, saying, Peradventure he will be enticed, and we shall prevail against him, and we shall take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a mighty terrible one, therefore my persecutors shall stumble, and they shall not prevail, they shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. But, O Lord of hosts, that triest the righteous, and seest the reins of the, and the heart, let me see thy vengeance on them, for unto thee have I opened my cause. Sing unto the Lord, praise ye the Lord, for he hath delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of evil doers. First be the day wherein I was born. Let not the day there wherein my mother bare me be blessed. First be the man who brought tidings to my father, saying, A man child is born unto thee, making him very glad. And let that man be as the cities which the Lord overthrew and repented not, and let him hear the cry in the morning, and the shouting at noontide, because he slew me not from the womb, or that my mother might have been my grief, and her womb to be always great with me. Wherefore came I forth out of the womb to see labor and sorrow, that my days should be consumed with shame. Oh, <laughs> Jeremiah 18 to 19, but I already read chapter 20. Anyway, okay, we now go to Second Timothy chapter 3. This know also that in the last days, perilous time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, peers, despisers of those that are good, traitors, needy, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, such from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with teens, led away with diverse lust, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as James and Hambrus, sorry, now as James and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also receive the truth, men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no farther, for their foolish shall be manifest unto all men, as, their, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. Alright, we're done with the Bible reading. Again, this is for day 302, a Bible in one year, and we've read Jeremiah chapters 18 to 19, although we've also read chapter 20, and then 2 Timothy chapter 3. Thank you, and God bless.